Hello friends, my name is Kushal Ingde and in this today's video, you will learn about the structure and types of RNA polymerase. So as we know that the RNA polymerases play very important role during the transcription. So during the transcription, the formation of RNA takes place. This RNA again further undergoes the translation and produces the protein. That protein carry out the different functions. There are five different subunits are present in case of the bacterial or prokaryotic cell. So these subunits, nothing but two alpha subunits, one beta subunit, one beta dash subunit and the last one that is omega subunit. So out of these five subunits, the omega subunit is smallest subunit. Whereas beta dash subunit is known as the largest subunit among these five subunits. This beta dash subunit having the molecular weight near about 155 kilo Dalton. And this beta dash subunit, it plays actual role during the RNA synthesis. After this, beta subunit is nothing but it is the second largest subunit. And it is nothing but it act as a active center in RNA polymerase. After this, the remaining two alpha subunits, nothing but these are the third largest subunit which are found in this RNA polymerase. So these five different subunits form the core enzyme and this core enzyme binds with a sigma factor and forms the holo enzyme. This sigma factor actually helps during the binding with the promoter region. So without the sigma factor, RNA polymerase cannot bind with promoter region obviously it cannot start the transcription also. So for to begin the transcription, sigma factor is very important. That's why sigma factor is also known as the initiation factor. Apart from this RNA polymerase, some metals also play important role during the transcription. So in that case, zinc and magnesium plays very important role. So this zinc and magnesium, these are very important during the transcription. Now coming to the eukaryotic cell. So as we know that eukaryotic cell having the three different types of the RNA polymerases. Generally in case of the animal cell there are RNA polymerase 1, RNA polymerase 2 and RNA polymerase 3. But in case of the plant there is RNA polymerase 4 is also found. So out of these different RNA polymerase first of all we will learn about the RNA polymerase 1. So RNA polymerase 1 transcribe the ribosomal RNA and the examples of this ribosomal RNAs are nothing but 18S, 5.8S and 28S rRNA. So this RNA polymerase 1 makes or produces the ribosomal RNA in an area that area within nucleus is called as the nucleolus. This RNA polymerase 1 having the molecular weight near about 590 kilo Dalton and made up of 14 different subunits. Coming to the next type of the RNA polymerase that is RNA polymerase 2. Actually this RNA polymerase 2 it is a multi-protein complex. It is made up of 12 subunit and its molecular weight is near about 550 kilo Dalton. This RNA polymerase 2 requires various transcription factor for the transcription of the genes. So without the help of the transcription factor this RNA polymerase 2 can't work. These transcription factors, these are called as the GTF, that is general transcription factors. Coming to the next type, that is RNA polymerase 3. This RNA polymerase 3 make the tRNA and 5S rRNA. Now, if you see about the housekeeping genes, housekeeping genes undergoes the transcription at in each and every cell at every time. So, this RNA polymerase 3 helps in transcription of these housekeeping genes. So in this way, it was a short video, short lecture about the structure and types of the RNA polymerase. I hope that this video will be helpful for your study. Thank you so much.